In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgSO4, sodium carbonate plus magnesium sulfate. First thing we need to do, we balance the molecular equation. It's already balanced. Next, we write the states in. So carbonates in general are insoluble unless you have sodium or potassium carbonate. Those are soluble. Sulfates in general, they're soluble. But here we have magnesium carbonate. This is insoluble. So we have a solid. This will be our precipitate. This will fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react as a precipitate. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation where we split everything into its ions except our precipitate, except the solid here. We keep that together. So this will be a solid. Everything else is going to be aqueous. So this is the complete ionic equation. And now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I have the reactants on top, products here on the bottom. In the reactants, two sodium ions. We can cross those out. They're spectator ions. And then we have a sulfate ion here and in the products cross it out, spectator ions. This is the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgSO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgSO4. You'll note the atoms, they're balanced, and we have the same charge on each side. Two plus, two minus, that adds up to zero, net charge of zero. In the products, this is neutral net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgSO4, sodium carbonate plus magnesium sulfate. Thanks for watching.